Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Wadi Ali Palace today the Chief Executive Officer, Chairman of the Management Board, Deputy Chairman of the Board of Directors of Rosneft, Sir Sheen Igor, who is currently visiting the country to start joint cooperation in the oil fields between Bahrain and Russia. His Majesty the King reviewed the strong relations between Bahrain and Russia and ways to further develop them in various fields. His Majesty welcomed the cooperation between Bahrain and Rosneft Oil Company. He highlighted the important role of the oil and gas sector in supporting countries' economies. His Majesty the King also noted the positive outcomes of His Majesty's visit to Russia in the fields of investment, trade and economy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain yesterday after he attended the Royal Queue for the graduation of the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the British capital London. Among the graduating batch was His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's granddaughter, Sheikh Aisha bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The ceremony was organized under the patronage of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom in Northern Ireland. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also met with the British Prime Minister Theresa May and discussed with her cooperation and coordination in various domains and threats facing regional security and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister was welcomed by MPs, Deputy Prime Ministers and other government officials.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a meeting yesterday with President Rodrigo Rao Duterte of the Philippines and the accompanying delegation. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister held the close relation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of the Philippines and the progress of cooperation between them in all fields. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation for the keen desire of the President of the Philippines to support these relations and expand the horizons of bilateral cooperation to achieve common interests. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the visit of the Philippine President to the Kingdom of Bahrain will contribute to advancing the economic investment and trade cooperation between the two countries and closer coordination between them on various issues of common concern. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also underlined the role played by the Philippines in Asia in its development, pointing out the great contributions of the Filipino community in the development of progress in, the, in Bahrain. During the meeting, they reviewed regional and international developments, where His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Philippine President expressed satisfaction at the understanding shown by some policies of the effects of destruction on the regional and global development process. They also affirmed their support for any international efforts aimed at achieving security and stability and combating terrorism in all its forms. The President of the Philippines expressed his country's appreciation for the keenness of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to strengthen the Bahraini-Philippine cooperation to wider horizons. He also hailed the success of the government program and policies under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. Later, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister bade farewell to the President of the Philippines and the accompanying delegation upon their departure from Bahrain following an official visit, during which he held talks on ways to reinforce relations between the two countries in trade, economic investment, and tourism fields. Also present were Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister and Head of the Mission of Honor Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of the Philippines to Bahrain and senior officials.
The President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, accompanied by the Deputy Prime Minister and Head of the Mission of Honor, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, visited yesterday evening Capital Club Bahrain and met with a number of officials and businessmen from both countries and members of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The meeting reviewed relations between both countries in various fields, especially in the economic and investment fields, where Bahraini and Filipino businessmen were briefed on the best investment opportunities in both countries. The meeting also discussed ways to develop cooperation between the two countries. The President of the Philippines expressed thanks and appreciation to the wise leadership and the people of Bahrain for their generous hospitality. The President of the Philippines also met in the presence of the Deputy Prime Minister and Head of the Honor Mission, members of the Philippine community in Bahrain. The President expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation for the warm welcome and hospitality he received during his visit to Bahrain, underlining the deep friendship ties between the two countries. He also appreciated the efforts of the Bahraini government to protect the rights of Filipino workers in Bahrain, saying that the Philippine community and the kingdom are receiving great attention hailing their contributions and supporting the national economy and that of the Philippines and rather that of the Philippines. In his speech, he said that the representatives of Filipino workers in the Gulf region, including the Kingdom of Bahrain, exceed $7 billion in 2016. On the relationship between its country and the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Philippine president affirmed his country's keenness to establish further economic relations with the Kingdom hoping that the agreement signed during his visit to Bahrain in the economic and investment fields will benefit the two friendly countries, looking forward to increasing the volume of trade exchange between the two countries. On trade cooperation between the two countries, the Philippine president stressed his support for the businessmen and investors of the Philippines for the establishment of several investment and economic projects in Bahrain, urging Bahraini investors to invest in the Philippines. His Royal Highness Prince Hamza bin al Hussein, son of Jordan, arrived this afternoon to the Kingdom of Bahrain to attend the 2017 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman al Khalifa received His Royal Highness Prince Hamza at Bahrain International Airport. Sheikh Isa welcomed Prince Hamza's visit to Bahrain, which he said reflects Jordan's ongoing support of Bahrain's Grand Prix and the close ties between the two nations. The charge d'affaires of the Jordanian embassy and a number of senior officials were also present. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, inaugurated the International Conference on Sustainable Building and Renewable Energies, which was organized by the Kingdom University in cooperation with the World Renewable Energy Network. Present were a number of researchers and specialists in this field. Dr. Mirza delivered a speech in which he talked about the wise leadership's keenness on developing the field of sustainable energy and achieving sustainable development in the country. 
He noted the government's efforts to provide a green environment and clean energy to establishing a sustainable energy unit in cooperation with the United Nations Developmental Program. The unit encourages investment in renewable energies such as solar energy. The minister expressed thanks to the organizers of the conference, Kingdom University's president and affiliates, World Renewable Energy Network members, sponsors, speakers, and participants. Four of the unique vehicle plate numbers were auctioned off for the first time in Bahrain, making 1.725 million Bahraini dinars in profit. Mohamed Shaban has the story. Over 1,500 people took part in the Mazad auction last night. The company conducted its first private vehicle number plates, making a profit of 1.725 million Bahraini dinars. Bahrain's first private number plates auction included 40 combinations of a new series of numbers introduced specifically for the auction. The new series of numbers started from 600,000, and 600,001 became the first ever number plate auctioned in the kingdom. The participants praised the auction, highlighting that it will directly support Bahrain's ongoing economic diversification efforts. They went on to recognize the high standards achieved by the organizers in conducting the auction while stressing the importance of continuing to encourage and introduce different types of auctions in Bahrain. Mazad Company was announced by Mumtalakat Holding Company, the government's investment arm late last week, in an effort to solidify the concept of transparency and competitiveness. Earlier this week, the company signed a contract with Arab Auction Company to utilize the company's expertise in conducting the first auction in Bahrain. In a statement, Mazad CEO Mr. Talal Al-Arefi highlighted that the success of the auction paved the way for more auctions in the kingdom, which will directly support ongoing efforts to introduce new and innovative ways to generate revenue. The success of the first auction was underpinned by effective collaboration between relevant parties, noting that the auction is an important step in promoting and encouraging principles of transparency, fairness and competitiveness across key sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain.